We've all been disappointed to take photos where the subject didn't or wouldn't smile as we would have hoped. Well, if you have this issue, stick around as I'll be running through four tools that might be able to mitigate this problem and get the desired result. So let's get right into it. By the way, just to manage expectations, as mentioned in previous videos, Affinity Photos has no AI tools to speak of, whether for making a smile or for other purposes, so we're not going to be expecting dramatic results. Instead, we'll be working towards more subtle, natural-looking improvements using traditional tools. Before we proceed, let's give a quick definition of what a smile is to get a better idea of what we should be able to achieve at a minimum. According to Vocabulary.com, a smile is a facial expression characterized by an upward curving of the corners of the mouth, indicating pleasure, amusement, or agreement. So with that simple definition out of the way, let's move on to the tools. The first tool is the Liquify Push Tool. The Liquify Push Tool is part of the Liquify Persona, one of several personas in Affinity Photo, and one which we're using for the first time in the channel. In case you are unfamiliar with Liquify, this persona is focused on the warping or distorting of images. It can be used for subtle face and body reshaping for portrait retouching. For our purposes, we're going to be using it to make a person smile. Let's demonstrate with this image. First, I'll navigate to Liquify Persona. I'll click on the Liquify Push Forward tool. As the name suggests, the Push Forward tool will allow you to push and pull pixels by dragging over it with a brush. As you can see, the larger the brush, the larger the range of pixels affected. As we only want to affect the sides of the mouth, I'll decrease the brush's size to a more reasonable level. I'll nudge the mouth upward. And there you go, a subtle yet discernible improvement. Here is the before and the after. So that is the first tool. Let's move on to the second. The second tool is the freehand selection tool. Let's demonstrate by making this lady more cheerful. I'll start off duplicating the layer. You can use Control C and Control V to copy and paste. Next, I'll use the freehand selection tool to draw a selection over the side of the mouth. I'll double click to close the selection. Next, I'll click on the Move tool. As you can see, this brings out handles that allows for transformations on the selection. By the way, do note that these handles will only appear on rasterized images. If working on RAW, make sure to rasterize the layer first for the handles to appear. Next, I'll move my mouse cursor next to the corner handle. As the cursor changes to a curved arrow, I'll drag my mouse to rotate the selection to move the mouth's corner upward. I'll do the same for the other side. Here is the before and the after. As you can see, a pretty good result. Here is another example of using this workflow with another image. The third tool is via the Clone Brush tool. You probably know Clone Brush more as a tool for removing blemishes rather than adding a smile. First, I'll select the Clone Brush tool. 
Next, I'll adjust the brush's size to be big enough to cover the corner of the mouth. Next, I'll select the point as a source by alt-clicking on the point. I'll take advantage of one of the powerful features of the Clone Brush tool, the ability to rotate the source image. I'll use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the clone source. I'll move the source image for a better blend. Once I'm satisfied with the location, I'll click my mouse to paste in the source image. Here is the before and the after. So that is the third tool, the clone brush. Let's move on to the fourth tool. The fourth tool is via AI tools. So far, we've been solely relying on Affinity's conventional tools to achieve our results. Those are suitable when all you need are subtle improvements. However, when you want more substantial changes, then your best bet will have to be AI. While there are many AI Smile tools to choose from, for this demonstration, I'll be using a free online photo editor called Hey Photo, which is the tools for our needs. As I've already uploaded the image, first, I'll click Smile. I'll drag the slider. It's as simple as that. As you can see, it is a more dramatic result. Unfortunately, the result is not perfect. First, the adjustment has affected not just the mouth, but also the nose and eyes, making the person appear like a totally different person. Not what we want. Second, the resolution isn't all that great. As such, let's use Affinity Photo to refine the result. So here we are in Affinity Photo. I've added both the AI enhanced image and the original as layers. Unfortunately, you can see that the AI enhanced image is of much lower resolution than the original. I'll align the images. Next, I'll move the original to the top of the layer stack. I'll add a mask. With a black paintbrush, I'll reveal just the mouth from the AI adjusted image. And there you go, a more significant smile without sacrificing the subject's appearance. So those are four ways to make a person smile. I hope you've learned something new today. Let me know if you're aware of other techniques in Affinity Photo or perhaps other AI tools that can perform the same task. Write it down in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to help keep the videos coming. Until the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.